I just received the Renfo AI powered exercise bike and I'm going to do an unboxing for you in this video. So let's check it out. So first off, this is a Renfo product. I have used the scale before, but this is a bike they recently released. I saw online and decided to jump on it to test it out and see if it's better than my Yosuda indoor cycling bike. The main draw I have to this bike is that it has magnetic resistance, meaning that it doesn't use the wool brake pad that the other Yosuda bike has. And it also is AI powered, meaning that it changes based on an app you are running. So say I'm doing like the app it comes with, it can actually change the resistance without me needing to do it manually, making for a more immersive experience. So with that being said, let's take a look at the pricing and unboxing details for the Renfo AI powered exercise bike. So I purchased the Renfo bike back on December 15th of 2020, and it was also the same day I actually saw it online. The listed price on Amazon at the time was $799.99. However, there was a 20% off coupon when checked out, lower this by $200. So the final price I had for the product was $649.99 after Texas taxes. And with the unboxing, you get the following items. Of course, the bike frame comes with it so you can actually use the bike. And both the handlebars and the seat are actually already on the bike itself. So you don't have to put them in separately. They're already put into where they should be on the bike inside the box that I received. You will also receive the two pedals that come separately. So again, these just go on and you can just screw them in. You may need to use the wrench in order to get them securely in themselves, but you can just use your hands at first kind of screw them in and then use that wrench to secure them in place. You will also get two additional base supports. So this makes it so it doesn't fall over one using it. And really you couldn't set this up without it very easily. So make sure you get those set up and they have shown to fit um, very well, even putting it into my closet, which was a big plus for me. I'll get to that later, but these are only about 20 inches in width. So they're not too wide in case you were trying to store them in a closet like I am. And the last item you receive is a power cable. Now this plugs directly into the outlet on your wall and then into the back of the bike. The back of the bike itself has an on and off switch, so you can leave it plugged in all the time, but you can simply just uh, unplug it from the wall and turn it off, then store it where you want to like I do in case you don't leave it out after using it. So I did take a look to see if you could use double or triple A batteries with the product itself. However, there are no slots for batteries at this time. You will need to plug it into a wall in order for power to go to the bike to use its onboard functions. And with that, the total time it took me to put this bike together, and most of it was just getting it out of the box as I did kind of struggle with that at first, was 29 minutes and two seconds. Looking at the specs for this exercise bike, we have a total weight of 88 pounds with the dimensions coming in at 40 inches uh, wide, 49 inches long and 20 inches high. The max weight as recommended by Renfo is 270 pounds and includes an app called AI Gym, which is a separate app from the Renfo app, but is one that is created by them in order to connect your Bluetooth to your phone or another device and track the workouts that come with that app. So the AI Gym app is where really a lot of the benefits of the Renfo bike come into play that I wasn't getting with my Yosuda bike. Setup for me was extremely easy for this. All I did was I went and downloaded the AI Gym, went into the settings and easily connected this with Bluetooth, just make sure it's on on your phone. And it took all of three seconds for it to find it and connect and I was ready to go. Also, after testing and turning on and off the bike multiple times, it connects almost instantly back to the app when it is running. So as long as the bike is on and Bluetooth is on on your phone, it connects basically right away. When setting up the app, you can go in and set your height and weight, as well as the type of mileage you're going to be using, such as kilometers or tracking in miles, so metric or imperial, in order to use the one that you're using in your country. It also syncs with Google Fit. I honestly don't care because I don't use anything with Google Fit. So I hope they add more apps in the future, like Fitbit, which I do use a lot of, but if you use Google Fit, just know that it does connect to that as well. So once you kind of get the initial settings out of the way, you can go into the AI Gym app and get some of the other starter things done, such as your first testing tutorial. So the first one is about 10 to 15 minutes in length and you start at an easy resistance and over time it raises up until you fail for, I think it was 10 seconds or so. Once you fail at that pace and resistance for 10 seconds, it picks that as your starting point and gives you a level from there. Now it started me on professional level, 
I don't think I'm a professional, but I think it was 183 watts is what I was outputting when it gave me the recommendation. So it then tries to base around all of your other training and stuff like that and recommendations on whatever you placed in for your initial assessment. Now what's awesome is this app has no membership required at all. So you can just use this and just take all the courses they have on board. And I think they're gonna be adding more over time based on what I've run online. Um, but just know it comes with quite a few courses right out of the box, ranging from as low as five minutes all the way to an hour or more. I tend to stick around the 30 minute mark and they have a few of those in there, but I'm gonna cover some of the different types of courses you can run now. The first one is the power course. And this is what I did after my initial assessment. What it is, is it's kind of like a game built in app where they just have a biker on screen. And then it has like a kind of leveling thing in the back where the higher the rank is on the actual graph itself, the harder the resistance. And then it's a time-based thing as well. So it also shows you all your other stats, like how many watts you're putting out, total time, your heart rate, if you have something connected to it. But just know that it's a kind of a cool little app you can run and it uses whatever course you picked to mimic that and then feed it back through the bike itself to provide you the correct resistance without you doing anything at all. Next up, you have a video course you can actually download with a trainer. So when I did it in my initial test, it was only five minutes long. There is a trainer on screen in the middle and then two assistants with them. And they basically just talk you through as any other online training program would do through the workout. Again, you have as low as five minutes all the way to about an hour workout. And it's just a nice little way if you wanna spice things up and just have a trainer train you through your session. And there are quite a few different ones of them. There's not a ton of different courses, but enough to start out and get you by. And then the last one, which I just tested out yesterday and had a lot of fun with it, is the riding challenge. So the riding challenge is one where you pick a specific part of the world that's using that's been Google mapped. And then what it does is it sets you up against other riders of your skill level and a ride they did in the past. So for me, it gave me three other riders around my level and that have done this race before. And then I try and race against their times to try and beat them. What's happening is it shows a little marker on where they are in the race on the path and where you are uh, in relation to them. So basically you're trying to compete and beat them to the finish line in that race. So again, mine was a pretty short race, only a little, like, I think it was like a mile and a quarter or so. And I ended up winning my race by a minute and 30 seconds. But just know that over time, it will pick other opponents that are, again, closer to your skill level as it learns more so that you have a good challenge in these workouts. So it's really cool that they implemented something like this. It's not as good as the Zwift where you have them like side by side with you in an avatar form. It's just a little dot on a screen on a map. But it's really cool that they have this and that you can actually do a pretty cool riding challenge. Not feeling like doing one of their workouts, you can also simply just go into the main page of the app and pick between a time, mileage, or calorie burn workout. So basically you just set how far you wanna go or how many calories you might wanna burn um, or the time you want to do it. And then once you hit that, your workout's over. So you can just set that manually and the bike tracks it all for you and it ends the session once you've reached that target. So now let's go over my first impressions of this bike after using it only a handful of times. To start off, and my biggest pro for this bike over my Yosuda is that it fits in my closet without needing to do any kind of shimmying and maneuvering to get it through that door frame, which was a big problem with the Yosuda over time. So this allows me to easily just put it in and take it out as it's only about, I think, 20 inches wide. Um, so this allows me again with my door of 22 inches and the Yosuda at 24 inches, this bike easily fits in the doorway without me needing to do any kind of special maneuvering. Next up, the turn dial actually gives me resistance feedback. So I can see an, a visual number feedback for me to know where I'm at, which was another big problem with the Yosuda that just has a turn dial. With the Osuda, I was just guessing my, what my resistance was, but here I actually get a number value feedback. So if I'm doing a workout and I want to increase it over time and get better over time, I can see what that number is. And then the next workout go up by a half or full wattage in order to continue to progress with my training and get better at cycling overall, which is really, really cool. Also increasing and decreasing goes up by 0.5 watts each time. Super, super easy. And it shows you again, right on the screen, you just turn the uh, dial right to make it harder or left to make it easier, but it's very seamless, smooth, and has no problems. It also has a little uh, tactile click feeling, so you know when you've gone up that half watt or down half a watt, so that makes it, again, really easy to use this bike. Moving on, the AI gym and AI resistance that the bike gives you feedback for is amazing. Again, I don't have to do anything if I'm running one of their workouts. So I'm probably gonna be using this and maybe doing like an endurance on Tuesdays and then a muscle building, whatever that means for cardio on Thursdays. Probably just more of resistance style training or hit style training on Thursdays. 
And this will allow me to not need to actually do anything but pedal and focus on me biking because it's going to automatically do it within the bike, which is awesome. And I can't wait to see other competitors come out against this after they see how awesome this is in this bike. And it has worked perfectly. I've had no issues out of the box day one with really anything connecting to it or having the AI updates. It's been seamless, smooth, and super, super easy using it from my phone and then having it pass over to the bike. Looking at the AI gym, I've really, again, loved this app so far. It's very intuitive, easy to follow, didn't get lost, and I can find pretty much anything I need right away. It has more bells and whistles than I personally need. Maybe not someone who's like a pro and wants to go well beyond what this app is capable of, but again, this is brand new by Renfo. It has barely any reviews on Amazon yet. I think it had five when I bought it. So this is really cool. Um, it's a more expensive product than the Yosuda, so about double the cost, but comes with so many awesome features that I have to recommend it at this point as being way, way better overall than that bike could ever really be. The one con I'd have to start out is it's not the best looking bike. It kind of looks like one of those old school, like what you'd see in maybe like your grandmother's house when they went over for spinning, uh, like made back in like the 1980s. But it does the job. It gets it does what I want it to do, and all those AI power things work very well. But I actually like the Osuda look more as it's kind of more of an actual bike. Maybe I'm just biased here, and that's just what I've seen growing up. But honestly, it kind of looks like a flimsy thing. But let me tell you, it's built really, really well. I can actually stand on that middle piece and get into the straps just fine, coming in at 185 pounds. So again, doesn't look that great, but does everything better than any other bike I've used in the past. And my last mini con is that there's no water bottle holder. And this is because it doesn't, again, have that same shape as the bike with that middle cross-sectional piece. So there's no water bottle piece. I might have to buy a separate one. I also have the window next to me where I can put a water bottle down on and I just take it off the window so when I need it. But that is a little con that I have with the product starting out. And the last thing I wanted to cover is does this work with other third-party apps like Zwift, which is a major biking slash cycling app. So I went and made an account with my gamer body email and lo and behold, this works again very, very easily as long as you have Bluetooth and everything set up it was able to find my bike right away and get things working and me pedaling in that app. In the setup, this is what the bike will cover for tracking your workouts. It does the power source, the cadence for your rides, as well as the controllable. I'm not really sure what that really means, but also does the controllable. So I think there was two items that were not highlighted from the bike, the things you could have checked off, like heart rate I think was one of them, but just know it does three of the five, which is pretty good to start out. You might need to get like a heart rate monitor or something and another one for the other item, but just know it does allow you to use this bike right out of the box and already covers three of the five items for you. So you don't need to buy too many additional pieces of equipment to get everything tracking in that app. So that is it for the unboxing of my Renfo AI powered exercise bike. If you did like this unboxing, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more videos just like this one. Also make sure you head over to GamerBody.com. There you can check out my home workout program, the equipment I own and use. And yes, I will be adding the Renfo bike to that list and the information I'm learning from to continue to build muscle and confidence all from the comfort of home. And that's it. So again, like, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.